Monterey, California. What do you think of Cannery Row, the most famous place? Well, here we have Monterey Bay Aquarium. Everybody can come and learn and check out this whole wonderful place. You can get on the trolley and it's free. It's not far from downtown. Cannery Row was immortalized by author John Steinbeck. It used to be the sardine capital in the whole world, but then it burned down. Now it's home to San Carlos Beach, where it has premier scuba diving. You can have well watching all year round, and now it has all types of shops and restaurants. And Monterey Bay Aquarium was converted from a sardine canning factory. It's a place to explore and it's very interactive where you can learn about how the ocean affects humans and how we affect the oceans. We also gain inspiration from the sea, even things that are invented by us like the bullet train inspired by the Kingfisher for aerodynamics. Also, the dolphin's tail is another form of inspiration as a propeller on boats. The way that the motion moves up and down was better than a spinning propeller and it also saved wildlife. So that's a bonus if we can gain inspiration from creation, all good. When you visit the aquarium, try to go during the feeding times. It's more exciting. All of the animals and fish and mammals are more active. These fish can change colors from blue to gold. It's a wonderful sight to see. Can you guess the correct name of the large fish? You'll see it has three columns. 
one headed by a green, another by a yellow orange, and a third by a red color. And what that means is that the green, the animal in the green, it's a sustainable type of seafood animal. The one in the middle of the yellow arms is an alternative. It's not uh, unsustainable, but it's not perfectly sustainable. And the last is the red, and those are fish and animals that are not sustainable. Fish, I, I know what, huh? Go on, go on. Go on. Well, I don't do that with a sheep tail. <laughs> Leopard sharks are pretty safe. What about some of the other sharks that people hear about that might bite them if they're surfing or what I mean? You know, there are over 350 species of sharks in the world. And there's only a small handful that have really only done our drugs. I really think that has to do with misidentification. Here's a great tip. Make sure that you turn on the Monterey Bay Aquarium's text alerts. You can receive opportunities to see blue whales passing by on the observation deck, and it gets really exciting. And even more, there's even otters frolicking around there, catching crab, floating around. It's wonderful. The observation deck has many different points of interest. Behind the cafe, you can go out and look out towards the sea. You can go up out of the interactive area where the children's play zones are, and there's different levels, so you don't want to miss that. You want to make sure that you don't stay inside the whole time because you can look out at the otters like this. Oh, come by my camera, yay! There's so many opportunities to learn about nature and they let it be interactive. So it's not just good for adults, but really great for the children. So I recommend that you bring uh, children along. They would really love the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Who doesn't like penguins, especially a curious one? We are looking out at him and he's looking out at us. is the wolf eel. It's not a wolf and it's not an eel. It's a fish. Here you get to see an opportunity of a feeding. They're more active during feeding. Make sure you turn on those text alerts. Like I said, you don't want to miss out on these types of experiences. The 
jaws of the wolf eels are very remarkable. It's because it has one of the strongest mouths created to crush hard shell creatures. It has a row of four to six conical fang like teeth meant for biting. The back rows of teeth compromise of strong molars for pulverizing the prey. For every one pound of shrimp that was caught by trawling, there are six pounds of bycatch. That means sea turtles, other fish, could be dolphins, could be anything, birds are dying for one pound of shrimp. How do you become a responsible consumer if you choose to consume seafood? Go to seafoodwatch.org, get the app, Get the consumer guide. It'll show you how to make better choices. You can also go to MontereyBayAquarium.org and watch Seafood Watch Cafe. Goodbye, my beautiful little tilapia. Excellent choice. Tilapia is my favorite. So flaky, so tender, so sustainably delicious. In the States, most tilapia is farmed in ways that have very little impact on the environment. Imagine ponds with effective waste treatment, strong management, and a vegetarian diet. Meaning we're not draining the seas to feed the farms. And these farms are isolated from wetlands and waterways, so the environment isn't at risk. Yeah, tilapia is farmed in countries around the world. Mm -hmm. And many regions have made sustainable progress in their farming practices. Basically, tilapia is good for the economy, and that's good for the world. Just be sure to check seafoodwatch.org, the guide, or the app for most up-to-date information. Life can be rough for the orange ruffy. Did you know that they can live longer than 100 years? That's one old fish. Yeah, and they don't reproduce until they're 20, if they live that long. Years of heavy fishing have wiped out the orange ruffy populations. The more cautious practices are now in place, but it'll take decades for this slow-growing fish to recover. Another problem with the orange ruffy is the way that they're caught. It's called bottom trawling. When these large nets get dragged across sensitive areas, yeah, you get a lot of fish. But at a huge environmental cost. Especially to delicate corals in this habitat, it's like a total knockout for the ocean environment. Here's a look at their cafeteria style cafe. It has sustainable seafood and local ingredients, lots of flavor, best choices from the aquarium seafood watch program, sustainable and organic producers in the Monterey Bay region and central California are featured. On a first come first serve basis, if Cindy's is available, you can get farm to table goodness. It's a restaurant with ocean views. Monterey Bay Aquarium also feeds the fish and the animals sustainable restaurant quality food. Isn't that great? Lobster mac and cheese is seasonable. So if you go, it may not be on the cafe menu. Cindy's restaurant can range anywhere from $6 for a cup of clam chowder to $29 for an entree. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that you can subscribe to my channel. I encourage you to do that and if you already did, thank you so much for your support. Spread the word, more to come. God bless.